know, just a humble Ontario boy, you know. We you know we need got more guys like this in the league. You know, just a humble guy. He's gonna show up every game wearing a nice suit, you know, nice suit, nothing crazy, and you know, just a good old good humble Ontario boy out here. And we, we need definitely more of that in this league here, man. This guy, you know, he's a real stand up guy. Just a top tier guy. Great guy, you know, he's so he's look at him, look at him here, look at him here, look at him here with the fan. Look at this, look at this, look at this guy. Don't, don't you just love him? Oh, I love him. Don't you just love this guy? And you know, back when I was the coach, you know, I was the coach of Austin Brewer, you know. <laughs> You no, know, we you know we 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 had guys every day. You come in suit and tie, blue suit. We we didn't want anything crazy. You, you know you see these guys like Austin Matthews. You know guys like this coming to the game. You know he's too focused on. Look what he's wearing. Look at this. Look at this. Hey hey, go back. Stop the camera there. No, yeah, look at this guy. You know he comes to the game. He's wearing this crazy stuff, hats, fedoras. You know this guy. He's not focused on the game. You know, he comes in here, he's not ready, he's focused on his outfit, he's not ready about this game. And you know, watch here, we're gonna do a replay of the first period here. And you know, you watch this guy, look at him, look at him, he's flat on the ice, he's not moving. And you know what that comes from? That comes from, you know, guys, they gotta be ready before the game, they have to be dressed properly, and you know, the coach has to lay down the line. You know, we, we, we can't have this ruining the game of hockey. Because, you know, guys like this, they come in here, they're influencing the younger players. Oh, look at this. Look at the fans. Look at the fans here. Look at the fans here, hockey. Uh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You know, all these fans, they're influenced by these guys. You know, guys like Matthews wearing these crazy outfits to the game. And it's not good for hockey. <laughs> but he nailed the time cherry impression. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fuck, <yeah>. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> and you know, you know what day it is tomorrow, November 1st. Look at these guys in their beautiful suits. Look at these guys coming in. And look at this. Look at them with the poppies. Look at these guys. Wow. Look at the suit on him. <laughs> you know, good old humble Ontario boys. <laughs> you know, they, you know, we just got to keep showing the young guys what to do. Because, you know, these young guys that come in the league, you know, you got these guys like Chara. <laughs> and, you know, you got, you got guys like this, uh, what's his name? You got, uh... <laughs> <laughs> What's one of the ones that he was fucked up? What's one of the ones that he was... Uh, I don't even fucking know. Uh, I can't remember. Around. There was one guy in the least that he would always <laughs> say it wrong. What's his name? Securing objective uh, I can't even think right now, bro. And, you know, <laughs> guys like enough. this, you know, this guy comes over here. Look at him, look what he's wearing, this guy, with the dumb suit on. He doesn't look ready for the game. And it shows here when you look at this clip. This guy, you know, he comes over here from the KHL. These guys, they don't play the same way as us. You know they don't play the same as us. You know, you watch their warm-ups. You watch the way that they're playing. They're playing differently than these guys in the NHL. They're not professionals yet. And you need a good old Canadian boy behind the bench. Like, you know, Patrick Wah, wow, that guy... Good old humble oh Canadian God. boy. He's a good humble boy. And you know, he came up as one of the top goalies in the league. And you know, you look at this guy now, Stop. and he's ready to go. Look at this, look at this clip right here. He teaches these guys to always be ready for the game. He's always ready. And there's always, you know, this guy, he's always coaching on point. Now, the problem is, you know, we get these guys in here and, you know, they're, they're not taught the proper way to play. You know, they come up from the juniors, you know, back when I, back in my days, you know, we used to have guys, you, know, you, you weren't allowed to do any funny stuff in the room. You had to come in, all business, no music in the room, and you had to be ready to play a game of hockey. 
There was never any playing around. And you know, you know, back when I was a player, you know, back in those days, you always had to have a guy on the ice, you know, like a Scott Stevens, one of these guys. You know, you see a guy like Tom Wilson. Yeah, you know, he does a little bit of crazy stuff here and there, you know. But, you know, this guy, he's not afraid to play the body. And when you play the game of hockey, you have to be willing to put your body on the line. <laughs> and, nice. you know, a guy like Tom Wilson, he's always willing to put his body on the line to win a game of hockey. Look at this play here. Look at this blocking this shot here. Look at this guy. Great player, and you know, the Leafs, really, they're lacking guys like this. You know, you need players like this to show the younger guys how to play the game of hockey. Because, you know, these younger guys, they come in, look at them wearing the crazy suits, they're wearing the hats, they're wearing all this crazy stuff. And you know what? They come in, they're not ready to play the game of hockey. They're coming in trying to do a fashion show. And you know what? They're not humble boys. If they, if I was their coach, I'd be back skating them every practice until we were ready. And you know, you see a guy like this Mitchell Marner, you see this kind of guy, he's grittying on the ice and doing all these crazy dances. You know, he's not ready for the game because it all starts in practice. I'll tell you this now, kids. It all starts in practice. And if you don't practice the way you play, it's going to reflect in your game. And you know what? Your coach is going to recognize when you're not playing the way you're supposed to. And, you know, you see these guys in the practice like Mitch Marner, you know, guys like this. He's not a humble Canadian boy. You know, this guy, the Toronto Maple Leafs, his hometown team, and this guy is trying to take them for all he can. You know, what is that? What kind of a guy is this? You know what I mean? What kind of a player is this? You know, this guy is a bad representation of hockey. He's not ready for the game. He's doing too much crazy stuff in the summer. He's not practicing properly. You know, hometown hockey, you know, all you kids watching out there, you really got to not pay attention to this guy because he's a bad representation of hockey players. You know, guys like this, they, you know, they're, they're not ready for the game. And you know what, kids? The most important thing to get your time early on. I know you're playing, you know, house league, whatever it is. But, you know, you, you guys got to come out. Practice as hard as you play because your coach is going to see that. And, you know, you got a good, humble boy like these Dennis Morgans and Nicholas Venditti. And when the coach sees that on the ice, he's going to start the player that practices the hardest. And it's not about who's the most talented. I'll be the first to tell you that right now. Because, you know what, when I was in the league, I'll tell you that. There was some guys... You know, I'm not the most talented team. And, you know, when I was in the Bruins, you know, we won the cup. We weren't the most talented team. But you know what? We worked hard. And that's what it takes. You need to be able to work hard day in and day out. No crazy stuff. No fedoras. Beautiful suit every game. And that's the most important thing. <laughs> Did I forget anything? Uh, I know. Don't, hey, kids. Don't forget, you know, this is an important month. Don't forget to wear your poppies. You know, there's a lot of good veterans out there, you know, police officers, army. You know, these guys, these are these are real commendable guys. You know, you, you really got to respect these guys for all that they do for us. And you know what? You always got to wear your poppies and just show your appreciation for these kinds of guys. All right? Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> are you dying?